Have you taken a close look lately at your local conca trees? Strange question. But it may yeah. only be July. It's a bit random, wasn't it? It was a bit random. Uh, but many of our horse chestnuts look as if they're ready for autumn. Can you blame them? Covered in brown, withered leaves. Yeah, the cause, apparently, is a tiny moth. And now researchers want to track just how far this destructive creature has spread by using mobile phones. And our science correspondent, David Gregory, is with some affected conca trees in Birmingham for us now. So, David, is this really all the fault? then of this leaf minor moth. It is indeed, Suzanne. Uh, it's this tiny moth. If you walk past a conquer tree, you'll probably notice them. They're about the size of a staple, uh, but it's their caterpillars that do all the damage. Now, oh, up here, this isn't too bad, but this is early in the season. These trees in Birmingham, in Cannon Hill Park, these spots here are caused by the caterpillar eating through the leaves. And basically, increasingly, all our conquer trees in the Midlands are looking like autumn's come early. Here's the moth and here's the leaf miner moth caterpillar and this is the sort of damage they do. The reasons they cause so much damage is because they have three generations per year. So these trees will get progressively browner throughout the season um, and basically it looks like autumn's come early. Here in Cheltenham, this is the damage done by just one generation of moths and caterpillars. But now we can all help track the problem thanks to a free smartphone app. So let's try out this app. You fire it up and add a new record. You can then take a picture of a typical leaf uh, and I've got one in my album already so I'm just going to add that. You then get a chance to rate the damage, there's little diagrams to help with that. It's about a one. Then you can add your location which the phone does automatically of course. There we go. And finally there's a question about ground cover because the scientists are interested in what's going on underneath the trees and how that affects the moth. There we go. And then you just send it in. And you won't just be helping conquer trees. Certainly it will prepare us so that we can understand more about other um, invading or colonising insects and um, plant diseases in the future. So all the information we gather now will be absolutely invaluable for that. But this is still the little moth that remains a big problem for our conquer trees. It does indeed. Now, if you don't have a uh, smartphone, you can actually use a special website to track your trees, your conquer trees in your area. And for the details of that website and also for links to the free app for either the iPhone or an Android phone, or well, you can find it, all the details on my blog, of course, at bbc.co.uk slash David Gregory. And I've told the scientists that Midlands Today viewers really care about our conquers, so they're expecting plenty of downloads. <laughs> OK, thanks very much indeed, David. Bonkers about conquers. Yeah, eh? indeed. Got his sleuth thin coat on there. It looks a bit like Columbo there, didn't he? On the trail of that moth there, the leaf miner moth. Yeah, <laughs>